Hi, um, this is my first video and I'm just going to give you an idea of the tests I use um, on the water, my pond water. Um, I've got various test kits but as I'm sure a few of you know um, the colours sometimes it's a bit difficult to tell exactly what the readings are because of the colours and I'm red green colour blind anyway so it's pretty difficult so that's the test kit that I was using um, but as I said it's difficult to do the colours and it means I had to get somebody else to actually try and determine what the colours were so what I did for the main parameters is I've got some more test kits here and basically they're the, han the small Hannah meters so there's nitrate, nitrate, chlorine, ammonia, and a test for KH as well. Um, I've also got Hanameter for reading pH good and I have a meter for total dissolved solids so let's start with the nitrate. Here's the kit. Two test tubes, the checker, and some reagents. So what we'll do, two test tubes out. with 10 milliliters of pond water. Next, switch the meter on and you see C1's displayed which means it's ready for water. So put the ordinary pond water in, press it again. Eventually, it'll come up with C2, which means it's now ready for the water with the reagent added. Take the pond water out, get this water. Sachet a reagent. Open it up and tip it into the test tube. Bring your ten litres of water. Okay. 
shake for 15 minutes. Sorry, 15 seconds. I'm going to be a bit tired after shaking for 15 minutes. Shake for about 15 seconds. Put that in the meter. Shut the top. Press and hold. It's now on the timer. This actual test is going to take 15 minutes. So it's timing it through. So time to go on to do the checks. Put that down over there. Put the reagents back in. So that's nitride. Next test we're going to do is chlorine. This is the chlorine test. Meter. Some reagents. Get one out. And a test tube to put with ten milliliters of pond water in. So we get with ten milliliters in here. Agent. But what we'll do is we'll switch this on. C1, which means it's waiting for pond water. So this is clear pond water with no reagent added in there. Shut it. Press again. We're waiting for C2 to come up, which means it's time to add the water with the reagent in. There we go. Open it up. Take out this clear pond water. Put them on the side. Let's get the reagent. In there, put the top on. So shake gently. Let's get that in the meter. Shut down. Press and hold. And this is going to take one minute to actually check chlorine levels. Put that one across there. Reagent back in there. We'll shut that down. The next test, which is ammonia. Again, we've got the meter. test tube and this time we have two lots of liquid reagent so again we open it up drop in the clear pond water C1 so we press
wait until it says C2. There we go. Now we can remove the pump a bit. 10 millimeters in here. There we go. First add reagent A, which is this one. And we want four drops. One, two, three, four drops of reagent A. Give it a gentle shake. And four drops of reagent B. One, two, three, four drops of reagent B. Turn again, gentle shake. Get the top on. Swirl the solution around. In, clip it down, and press forward. This will take three and a half minutes to actually do the test. Here's a chlorine checker zero chlorine. That's what we like to see no chlorine at all in that water. Okay, on to the last, which is for. KH or alkalinity. I'll just stick these ones away. Chlorine test. Put them on here, sorry. The KH could have. Again, check it. Alkalinity, it's parts per million in alkalinity. This one, switch that on, and it's waiting for the pond water. Put the clear pond water in, shut the top, press the button, and we wait till it tells us C2. There we go. It's now ready for the water with the reagent in. Stick that down there. And the test tubes. Let's get 10 milliliters in here. And another liquid reagent. Drop it in there, click down the top, and then a quick press of this. And we've got the result straight away of 36. I'll tell you what that means in a minute. Here's the ammonia checker. That's now down to 26 seconds. As it's counting down, we're ready to give the result for ammonia. And we've got the countdown coming 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what the result of the one here is. So we've got 0 0.03 parts per million, which is okay. Which just leaves really the night ride, which as you can see, still has just about five minutes to go. So we'll put that down and we'll check again as soon as we get near the countdown. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's calculating for nitrite. Nitrite comes at 160, and I'll explain that to you in a moment. Okay. So that's the four test kits there. Nitrite, KH, alkalinity, ammonia, and chlorine. And it's so much easier when you actually get a physical number to work with rather than a colour that you've got to that you've got to try and match. Much, much easier. And these kits themselves, each one costs around about £70. Um, they don't give you very many reagents with them so you've got to go out there and buy I think it's 25 reagents each in sets of 25 for the reagent wise and I can't remember exactly what they were around about 20 pound so probably the reagents are going to be maybe a pound each so you're talking about a pound per test which isn't cheap but um, you are getting uh, numerical result so it's a little bit easier to understand exactly what your figures are 